Hey yo, what's up? This is another one of my direct uploads. I haven't done one of these in a minute and whatnot. And you know, it's messed up. This is like first day of spring and I'm still bundled up like it's the winter. But whatever the case, man, I wanted to address this uh, issue. How to really know if you're an alpha. And anytime I use the term alpha, you know, I don't like using that term because there's so many definitions, but um, I want people to really get the point. I want people to get the point. So it's more of a communication thing. Who sent me money? Oh, shit. Yeah. Thanks, my brother. Anyway, right. <laughs> anyway, check it out. Check it out. How to know if you're an alpha. And this is specifically a sexual alpha, right? And really, it extends to the real world as well, right? If you really think about it. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep it to the a sexual alpha. You are a sexual alpha. You are a select man. If on a routine basis, women who would rate at the minimum seven and above and including some nines and some tens, some dimes are on a routine basis trying to seduce you. That's what makes you select. That's what makes you an alpha. Because understand the very term alpha means you're a leader. You standing out. You the man. Leaders don't chase people. You know. Leaders don't have to force anything. A leader just going to go up there and people going to follow that person. You know, sometimes people might call them a born leader or something. You don't have to force them. You don't have to be their supervisor where, they ha where you know, you're paying them some money or you got a hold of something over their head. Or even in the military, so you that type of cat, something happening, you just take charge and other people going to follow. Now, as far as a sexual alpha, women, see, women by nature want to submit to a man. By nature, by nature, I don't care. Even even feminists want to submit to a man. They just keep it on the low. In fact, on a deep level, they will pay a man just uh, so they can submit to him. Yeah, that's that underworld game, right? That's how badly they want it. So if a woman, if you are to be seen as a sexual alpha in a woman's eyes, she's going to try to seduce you. In fact... I would say this. I would say this. Any man shouldn't really mess with a woman who's not actively trying to seduce. And that goes beyond choosing signals because sometimes dudes get choosing signals confused. Right. You know, they say, oh, a woman looked at me. She's choosing. No, she just looked at you. She's just checking you out. There was just enough about you to check out a woman to check out a guy, assess him real quick and then be like next. So don't get caught up in she just looking at you. No. Nah. The woman who chews you, like if you in a club or something, she's sending you a drink. She coming over to you. She pulling you. She disturbing you while you trying to eat your buffalo wings. Like people in my inner circle know always talk about buffalo wings. That's how it was. I'd be, I be in like a club or something. I, I just want like the happy hour food so I don't have to cook. And women be disturbing me. Hey, how you doing? Pull me to the dance. Let me finish my damn buffalo wings. Like if you select a woman is going to try to get at you and not just any woman, a beautiful woman. Because you get some cats and they, they, they say, well, women trying to get at me, but they like threes. They land whales. They uh ugly, bad disposition. And those women, they just settling, really. Because, OK, say you get some woman coming for you. She out of shape. She she's unattractive. She get a makeover. Guess who she going for? She will drop you like a hot potato. I've seen that. I've seen women lose a little bit of weight or they change something to get more attractive Then that dude who thought he was a man. That woman drop him. Uh. Drop him like crazy. You know, as soon as Mr. Goodbar returned that phone call. Right? What is coming across here? Let me put my glasses on so I can see you walking across here. Damn, this thing all steamed and whatnot. You know, but if you want to know if you, like, if you if you are confused, ask yourself and be honest with yourself about it. How many, how many beautiful women trying to get at you? Notice I said beautiful. Because like I say, if you're getting a woman, she a three or four, she might be settling for you. Because remember, a lot of people want to talk about hyperkamy without thinking about what that really means. Right? 
Now, the technical definition is moving up in class, but, you know, for the purposes people usually use it, it's about a woman trying to get a better man than what she had. So, but sometimes women can't do that. They got to settle. But then if you look at a woman, she, she trying to seduce you. She trying to seduce you and she rates an eight or even a nine. Boom. Now, here's the thing. A lot of guys call themselves alpha. I don't even want to get into all of that too much. They call themselves alpha, right? Oh, and it's funny. They call themselves alpha or something because they, they got a house or something. <laughs> Alan Roger Curry was talking about somebody who had criticized him for that. I'm like, you got a house because you're a man. You should have your own spot. <laughs> what that mean? That don't mean you're an alpha. Shit. Depending on where you get it, you can get a house any place. Any man should have his own space. I've said that. That's a, like a bare minimum for a man. That'll make him an alpha. Shoot. I know a dude had a house and stuff, but somebody left it to him. The fuck that mean? You know? But anyway, right? That's the criteria. Because the whole select, not select thing is based on the mating habits of beautiful women. Let me say that again. It's based on the habits of beautiful women because... The dimes, the divas, all of that, they set the tone for everybody else. Everybody's trying to be those beautiful women. So if the beautiful, like at a high school, right? If all the cheerleaders and all the hot girls decided that they wanted to make the science majors or the, you know, all the science guys and, uh, um, you know, Dungeons and Dragon guys, the select guys, everybody else is going to follow behind that. So when you talk about that select, non-select thing or sexual alpha, sexual beta, you got to go on what the very beautiful women are doing. So who they trying to get with? So if you think, if you wonder, I mean, and just be honest with yourself, if you wonder if you are seen as an alpha by a woman, I don't care what you think about yourself. Hey, that's cool. You think you on top of it. But if you look up at the women and like if you're walking down the street, right, say you're with a woman. Right. If other dudes ain't looking at her and staring at her and trying to get at her and on a slide tip, <laughs> she ain't that fine. Like if you routinely getting them and here's the thing, like I said, they got to be trying to seduce you. OK, dude, you know, your job ain't worth all that to be driving like that. Nigga. Shit. Damn. People be rushing in the morning and whatnot. No one they don't like their job. You know, rush to get there and then he loaf when they get there. Anyway, right? Yeah. Dude did all that and he's still at the light with me. Anyway, right? That's how you know. Seriously, ask yourself, are beautiful women trying to get at me on a regular basis? Are they sliding in your DM? Like, hey, how you doing? They po if you're on Facebook, are beautiful women poking your ass? Or you got some dudes of uh, suspect nature poking. On the, I'd say it on a routine basis. Yeah, you might get... I mean, if, you, if you're an attractive male to women, you're going to get some booger bears and shit, right? But, you know, if you like me, you just count the attractive ones that, like, try to slide in your DM, try to holler at you. <laughs> shit. But, nah, that's the criteria you got to use. How they respond to you. Like, if you that type of dude who got to approach every single woman... You know, just to get some attention, you're, you're not select. Because a lot of dudes don't have a concept of that, but it's a real concept. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Some dudes understand, some dudes don't. It, it's alien to some dudes who've never had this happen. But even those uh, nines and tens, they will approach a guy or they don't expect it to happen all the time. Or what they'll do is they'll make it extremely easy for that guy to come to them. Actually, when the nines and tens, honestly, be honest, if they like you, most of the time they expect that most dudes are intimidated by you, by them. So what they'll do, they'll actually approach. They'll actually make it extremely easy because they figure they don't take the chance. If they like you, boom. So if that shit ain't happening to you and you can't point to this shit happening to you more than once because, you know, sun shines on a dog's ass like sometimes. So, you know. If you can't point to that shit happening like routinely over your life and that not, not, not like 30 years ago, but routinely, boom, <laughs> you're not select. You're not a sexual alpha to women. And I'm saying routinely, right? That's the criteria, man. That's the criteria. And I know some people want to argue and stuff, but I want y'all to think about it. 
what how are you gonna call yourself a sexual alpha but you you know really your women ranking like us as a four now it's not to say if you're not a sexual alpha, you can't get plenty of pussy because there's plenty of ugly women out here they women desperate really if, if you don't have any taste or any real like uh standards shoot sex is easy as hell but i'm saying in fact i said this before because i did a uh video you know because you always get these guys in the comments saying they've been with all these women and stuff and I'm, i just like shrug my shoulders i'm like yeah okay and i know i have some people they just yeah i've been there and i did this trying to convince you no you want to convince me let me put you let me find a place where there's a bunch of very attractive women i'm just gonna put you there i'm gonna sit you right there you can't say anything because if you all that they're gonna come to you and that's the criteria right there now, that's not to say you can't approach a woman or something, but usually, like I said, what that woman would do, what that woman would do, like most women still not going to approach you, but what that woman would do, she'll make it extreme. She'll stare at your ass. She might even say hi or something. She'll do something to get your attention, walk around you or something, stand real close at the minimum. Like it's a slam dunk. She's giving you a softball. That's how you know you're uh, a true sexual alpha. So, anyway, that's all. I know some people, some people going to agree with me. Some people don't. But I just say like this. Think about it. You know, think about it. And I know some people want to try to say, well, it's otherwise. But ask yourself something. Uh, ask yourself something. Like, let's use society's overall definition of alpha. He's supposed to be the leader. You know, some people are like, you know, he's supposed to be the physically imposing guy. He's supposed to be the guy making all the money, the man of high value. How the fuck some dude who making maybe six, seven figures, supposed to be handsome, maybe tall or something, look approaching women on the street or approaching women constantly. And that woman going to look at you. That woman going to look at that dude like he a sucker because the first thing on their mind is, OK, this dude got all this. Why he why he coming up to me? Why he acting press? Because I'm going to tell you something now. Whenever you, and this is why I'm funny about uh, approaching women, you really be a subservient to her whenever you approach her. Every single time. In fact, uh, this uh, one author, uh, Alan, Alan Roger Curry uh, mentioned this guy, and I know him I know him a little bit better. This dude named Rakim Sekou. He said this on an Instagram post. He said, shoot, you being subservient if you even ask a woman for pussy. So if you put if you approaching that woman or something, how the fuck are you an alpha on a consistent basis? Now, like I said, sometimes you just get that woman who you know you break character for. You just want to shoot your shot. But if that's what you're doing, and you out there talking about you on the street, I'm an alpha male or something, and you approaching all these women, shit, they looking at you like a sucker. In fact, that's the worst thing you can. That's the worst thing you can do if. Uh, you uh, even think yourself in an alpha. They should be coming to you. They should be presenting themselves to you. They should, if they ain't trying to seduce you, if they a woman is not actively trying to seduce you. In fact, uh, probably need to do a special on recognizing when a woman's trying to seduce you because some guys have never never experienced that. You're not an alpha. All right. Yeah. So I just wanted to clear that shit up. I just want to clear that shit up. So anyway, y'all have a good day. Shit, I got I to gotta go get my lunch. I got to go write these articles for OSHA. I'll talk to y'all. Peace.